Neurodivergent kids and teens are often misunderstood. It's often assumed that if they're not following directions, it's because of bad behavior. But it's often not the case. So I'm going to share 10 reasons why your neurodivergent child may be struggling to follow your directions. One, they forgot the directions. Two, they're struggling with planning and organizing. Three, they don't know how to control their body. Four, they're uncomfortable with certain sensory input. Five, they can't focus long enough. Six, they rush to get started before listening to the full directions. Seven, they struggle with transitions. Eight, they're in constant fight or flight mode because of their sensitive nervous system. Nine, they haven't learned how to regulate their emotions. And 10, they're anxious because they know they're probably going to mess up again. There are many other possible causes. My main point is that until you know what's contributing to the problem, the situation is likely to repeat itself. And then you find yourself caught in this never ending cycle of frustration. When a child doesn't do what's expected, it's often because they can't do it or don't know how to do it yet. This is often where I start when working with a new family because once you figure out what's at the root of the behavior, it becomes easier to address each behavior and find ways to decrease everyone's frustration. Remember, your child is not giving you a hard time. They're having a hard time. I'd love to hear your thoughts.